What's going on, guys? Ian Chong here, back with another video we're reacting to the Mavs Jazz highlights for Game 6. If you're new to the channel, hit that sub button down below. Let's get into it. I think you can tell who won by the title of this video. This game was fucking back and forth. Bogdanovich, floater. I'm not going to spoil what actually happened in the game. I'm going to let that show out here. Here we go. Guy Conley got inside. With their season on the line in Utah, man, they got to really show out. Yeah, the fans were booing Luka all night, man. It was bad. Um, Jalen Brunson has had his coming out party this um, playoff series. Speaking of Jalen Brunson, there you go. Um, I really want to see why he gets paid this offseason. I think it's going to be a good amount. Donovan Mitchell, they were starting out pretty decent in the first quarter. However, the scoring for both sides wasn't anything crazy, so that's why I say it will be decent. <laughs> Mitchell, you see it's already like, what, seven minutes in? They have ten points each. Like, come on now. Oh shit, Benny Smith inside. Jazz trying to get everything done. The referees have definitely stepped up, but in the wrong way. There's been a lot of fouls that shouldn't be fouls, and it's actually irritating. Um, I wish there was something we could do about it, but it's difficult. Jordan Clarkson, former sixth man of the year. The crazy thing is, I don't know what the hell that was. Three pointer, but Mike Connolly. Um, I want to see what the hell happens because they have so much talent, but you know, it just doesn't work. Finney Smith, like, I don't even know how to, how to compare it, man. Utah can legitimately get so many assets for what they got because all these different players can fit so well in different teams, just not together because it ain't working. They're a regular season team and they can't do shit in the playoffs. Luka Doncic. They were playing decent at the time, but Luka was still getting whatever the fuck he wanted to. Even though foul, he getting that to fall. Watch, oh my god. Luka got that the fuck out of here. Wow. <laughs> I love that. Dimity is my guy right there. Y'all already know. There we go. The house. I thought that was a block. Am I the only one who hates these cameras and wish we got like a 2K angle camera? Luca three pointer. He was smacking them tonight. Got a good amount of those. Bogdanovich. Right to the rim. This is a relatively low scoring first half. You know, both teams are really in it until, you know, around soon. Jazz would start to go on a little bit of a run, get some good defensive stops. Donovan Mitchell playing his heart out inside. I think it's just, you know, a testament to what the Jazz have been trying to do, you know. They would try and get it to work. The defense, they try to get certain players to fit in here and there. Sometimes Some worked-ish, some don't. Go Bear gets it to go. It's just, you know, disappointing to say the least. Bogdanovich, though, inside. They are up at the half by 12 points. Keep that in mind for the end of the video. Because you'll understand what I'm talking about. Look at Dodgers. For those of us who have watched this game, I think we all know what, we all know what happens. Um, but for y'all who don't, you know, I would say the biggest thing coming out of halftime was just that the Mavericks were scoring awfully, and they were still in the game. Look at that fake. Right to the rim. And once Rico Bear goes on to the perimeter, you have no paint defense at all, because that's all they have. Which, if they got other guys to help Rudy in the paint, it would help. And that's not saying Rudy's a bad defender, but you need other guys to merge in with him. And they don't have that at all. Like, could you imagine McCall Bridges next to uh, Rudy Gobert? That's just... I don't really know. Brunson, was, look at this. Come on now. <laughs> Rudy Gobert was getting this shit smoke, bro. There's no reason they uh, have him, uh, him guarding Jalen Brunson. Step back, look at down, Cheech. Put your bitch ass up, Jazz fans. I'm not talking about the you, you, uh, anyone who likes the Jazz who's watching this video. I'm talking about all the Jazz fans who are at these games making, you know, derogatory comments, being dicks to players. Those fans. The pass, Bogdanovich for three. He had that open look. Luka Doncic was fucking getting double teamed now, but look at this, open three. That will start to become a pattern for this Dallas Mavericks team down the stretch. 
I'm surprised that wasn't a foul because every time they did, anyone got even half touched, it was a foul. Why open three? Ball was getting to everyone's hands. Wide open. My man hit like eight threes in like game three, but they're going to keep leaving wide open. Mavericks are up by eight right now. Clarkson. He got, he smacked Luka. They didn't want to call that. I guess they didn't see that. I'm, I don't know. This is a huge save by Pascal. Really helped him out because that was big miss. And this is a big make. Now they're down by two. Eight, uh, six oh run. Not the worst defense on Luka. Just you have no one else guarding the three point shooters. So when you want to downsize this much, you know, you can't, you gotta really guard the paint because you have no size, but then people will just shoot. And the problem with the Jazz defense is they don't have enough guys to move quick enough to stay in the paint and get the three point line because no one wants to help Gobert. And Gobert can't help the outside perimeter defenders enough. Donovan Mitchell, here we go, inside of the paint. Good pass. It was always a big thing that them two never, uh, Mitchell never passed to Gobert yet in the playoffs. They did that increasingly more. You can't do that. Come on. You left him wide fucking open. Your season's on the line. Four minutes left. You're going to leave a man wide open. Watch this shit. Happen in game fucking four. I'm pretty sure it was the exact same score too, which is fucking weird. Bogdanovich three. He hit that one. Big play from the Mavs right here. They're going to need to get a bucket. And trust me, I'm shocked at how the fuck that happened. My eyes was on Dinwiddie. He was open. But Jalen Brunson looked to be open from the angle. So, because he looked a lot closer than he was. Gobert was actually playing pretty solid on the offensive side. Dallas up by one. Utah had the foul. It, they Brunson would go one on one, the free throw line. Yeah, you see here. And this last play is definitely insane. That was the longest second of all time. Bogdanovich, you kidding me? You couldn't have made it any better, any easier for you. You made the, all the open threes. You just missed the one that you need to win the game. I don't know what to say. Luka Doncic to 24 points, 9 rebounds, 8 assists, 2 steals, 2 blocks. It should have been 3. I remember they kept saying that the announcer, um, like commentary. Brunson also had 24 points. Then we had 19, and Finney Smith had 18. The forehead monster right there was fucking killing it. For the Jazz... Mitchell gave his heart out. 23 points, 9 of 17 shooting. Even with his bruised squads, we're not there as much as he could. Rigo Bear at 10 and 12. Bogdanovich had 19 points. Conley had 11 points. Um, Clarks had 50 points. And one thing to mention is that um, Mike Conley had a huge turnover at the end when it was a one point game. And they got, they, Mavericks missed a shot. They went up the court. Conley turned it over. Ah, yeah. Tim and Bogdanovich literally just cost this Jazz team the whole fucking season. And now what happens in the future? I don't know. I think I'm going to make a video about that. So you know, subscribe to the channel. Check that out. Thank you for watching. Just like the video. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.